Okay, here we are back in the 2011 Avalanche. I decided to break this video into two videos because it was getting a bit long. Just trying to show the whole troubleshooting. The original complaint or issue with my son's truck is that lock and unlock doesn't work. After looking, I took all this apart. You can find the video for it. Cleaned it all, everything, tested it. This whole uh, panel works. So now, investigating it more with the car, with the truck running, I'll show you. The door is closed. I'll put the window down and watch what happens when I open the door. It loses power. So as soon as you come into a certain spot, it kicks in, and then as you open it, look at power kicks out, kicks back in. So when the door is closed, this whole panel works. No problem. So we're going to investigate this. The fact that it only happens on this panel and only when I'm opening the door tells me that it is somewhere in there. There's a connection issue. So I popped this end off. I can show later how I did that. Let's see if I can get in there. Look at that. Black wire that's cut in half. So I gotta figure out how to get in there. I'm probably gonna have to take this panel off now. So I can take that black wire, <clears throat> splice something a little bit longer on it, pull it in, and then be able to splice because you can't take that boot off. Just to show you how that boot comes off, where this tab is right here, just push a screwdriver inside, and that's how they pop off. And they push back in. So you can see here where that tab is that you're pushing in. But this harness, when it comes in, a couple of wires split off, but then it comes up and goes to here. So what a person can do is take this out. Well, I, that was my thinking, was about taking this out. Come on. And do continuity with it back to here underneath to see which wire was broken but or was having issues with but visually we have an answer so that is not needed now so so now it's a matter of getting in there to actually fix that in order to even push it so I could get that there was a kink in the middle of that tube on this side I had to actually give a good pull while pulling up on this side because I found that there was some slack down here. So that's what made it I could push the boot down to actually get a good visual inside. Now it's about the repair. I found the problem. With it broken right completely, I don't even know how this was working even part-time. It should have been completely dead. So I don't even know why the opening and closing of a door even mattered. Everything in there is plastic. Nothing should have been connecting that wire. But either way, So I started taking the door panel off and then decided that, wait a minute, I think there's an easier way when the splice needs to happen in the middle here. So in order to get room, what I'm going to do is this connects right here, runs down. So I took this side panel off and once you do that, then this bottom one pops up which gives you access down below. If you look, let me grab a quick flashlight. Right. Sorry about that. Right here is where it comes in. That's the one that goes up top. A couple wires separate down come down and just connect right here. So if I disconnect that, I got a bunch of slack here. And then disconnect here and just give some slack to that wire. I should be able to pull out about a foot of wire here. Then I can take this and slide it up the foot of wire once I pull it all into this area, giving me room to work. Cause it's only the, the break is like right there. 
So only about four or five inches up from this edge. A couple of inches room here for slack, but not much. So if I can pull a bunch there, see how that works. And then maybe I can solder them together. Okay, so easy enough to actually disconnect the harnesses and just pull the whole thing through. So now you got the whole thing here to work on. All I gotta do is slide this boot down to about here and then I can work on that part real easy. One thing I'm noticing I just want to point out is in here you see some uh, two little rubber straps that are connected to this. They're just electrical taped around uh, the whole harness. So you got to remove that tape because they're stopping the, the whole uh, tube from sliding down. So just uh, wanted to point that out. Now we'll keep going. Okay, so what I've done here is pulled that back, stripped enough of the black. It's going to be tighter than the rest of the wires. But I'm hoping to tape this back up so they're, they're together in the joint and the bubbling of wires versus basically it's going to be like that. Instead of like this, the bubbling on the black wire will be past this joint and inside the door after it's all done and taped up. So what I did was strip about inch and a half on each side, get a nice twist together. Whoops, sorry. Get a nice twist together in your wire. And now we're gonna solder it up. So first thing you wanna do, an old school can I got, some solder paste. Put some on the joint. We grab our soldering gun and just gently touch it to it. Just so it's warm enough to melt that into it. You can be a little bit liberal with it. Anything extra will drip off. You want it to soak inside. So that's what the solder is going to activate with. Okay, now let's get some solder on there. It's not pulling inside quite like I'd like to see. That's a little better. That's better. Get some more paste in there, make sure it's all the way in. Side. And there we go. So now we'll tape that up, make it all nice, and then uh, work on pushing it. Okay, so here it is, all taped up. There's our joint, and I took it and gave a good pull test on it and it is solid 100% so that's good tape it all up while you're here go through and look at all your other ones if something broke in one spot then there's a chance that something else might and sure enough three other wires had the insulation 
on the wires uh, cracked. Now I looked and the wires inside were in good shape, but that means that there was a spot that was constantly doing this. So get some tape on that as long as the wires are in good shape and then that'll help strengthen the insulation on the outside and make it so that now that's not a weak spot where it wants to keep doing this until it snaps. Now it gives it a bit of strength and protects it of course from shorting anything out. So uh, while you're there, go through, check them all. So now let's see about uh, retaping this and tucking it back in. Okay, that side's on. And this side just needs a little bit of tape right there to hold that on. that in place one trick when you're putting on tape here not as critical but uh, when you're putting on tape on something and you especially if you know you're gonna be removing it if you're putting it on a fish line or something like that right fish line is in uh, fish tape to wire uh, pull wires through a, a, a confined area if you're just taping something quickly once you're ready to take it off twist it twice and then give it a pull. It gives a nice tab for when you're taking it off and it makes it so your end isn't stuck and it's easy to grab for the next time. Just a little trick that I've always done. So now, let's get this back in. That guy. Come on, baby. Gently pull it through. The biggest thing is when you're working the wires, just be careful. You don't want to twist it, so make sure you get your orientation so it's not twisted in there. And uh, so you're not nicking on the edge. That's all. So that was our spot right there where it was nicking before. So it's already sort of kinked in the boot, but we got lots of protection and tape in there now. Put that in. Oh, the rubber's on the eye. There we go. That one's in. There we go, they're clipped in. Now we'll uh, run the other parts. This one just simply comes back up and into here. And we'll run the other one down below and uh, clip it in. Get all this back together and we'll give it a test. Okay, it's all back together. I gotta put the, the shrouds back on, that's it. A couple of shrouds to go and that's it. Everything's back together and connected. So the issue was once the door opened more than literally two, three inches, it would shut out. That was where our connection was. So then this whole panel had nothing, it was dead. Where now, the door's open and we're good. So all fixed. There you go, hopefully that helps somebody.